what is up Panther Nation? So a thing happened. A pretty big thing. After struggling to put up points on the board for most of the season, we took the next most logical step. That is trading our number one receiver. Just moments before the NFL's trade deadline, we shipped former first round pick Kelvin Benjamin to the Buffalo Bills. The Bills, as I'm sure you remember, have a lot of familiar faces both on the field and in the front office. This offseason, defensive coordinator Sean McDermott was named as the Bills head coach. Not long after that, Dave Gettleman's assistant GM and longtime Panther Brandon Bean was appointed to be the general manager. Bean, who's much more familiar with Benjamin than interim GM Marty Herney, actually a initiated the talks for the six foot five Florida State product. And when it was all said and done, Buffalo went home with Benjamin and we went home with third and seventh round draft picks. Now the question right off the bat, why? Why would we trade our biggest target for the football equivalent of spare change? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Based off of Panther Nation's outcry moments after the news broke, a lot of fans are asking themselves the same question. And really, to understand, we'll have to take a step back and look at everything that led up to this moment. And let's start out right from the horse's mouth. Just moments after the news broke, Panther.com's Bill Voth spoke to Ernie, who was reluctant to give any information at all. But we did make a point to explain that this move, quote, gives our offense the ability to use more varying skill sets. He has a point. Starters Kelvin Benjamin and Devin Funches are really in the same build. They're big bodied receivers running similar route trees that attempt to use their size and strength to their advantage. With Funches being a bit quicker and Kelvin being a bit, well, bigger. Though they both lack one crucial trait, straight line speed. After all, speed kills now. And thinly veiled over his skill sets remark, was a telling sentiment. This offense lacks speed. Our offense's lack of separation has hurt Cam's time in the pocket, hurt our run game, and worst of all, hurt our ability to score points. Wait a minute, could it be? Heck yes, I just got a Panthers bingo. I knew that hog molly box would come in handy. Almost got that second row too, not too shabby. <laughs> If you've been keeping up with the Brothers Blue, you'd know that this was a common theme for the 2017 Panthers. So what exactly was going through Marty's mind when he agreed to send our number one receiver to Buffalo? Well, I'll tell you how it seems to me. It seems like he was frustrated with our offense. We have no vertical threat and our 250 pound starting receiver runs a 4-6 on the 40 yard dash. Hardly a threat to anyone other than a cheeseburger. Marty's words, not mine. It seems like we consistently face an eight man box because defenses aren't exactly petrified of our deep ball. It seems like Mike Shulenko had no plans of getting speedster Curtis Samuel more involved by way of reducing Kelberger Benjamin's reps. And it seems like we might have found a way to make this happen. If I were to take a gander, I would say this was roughly his train of thought when Buffalo came a calling. But even so, even with our need for speed, why did we trade a quality starter to a team who desperately needs him for only a third and seventh round pick? I mean, would he not warrant at least a second rounder? This is where Bean's familiarity with our situation comes in. Benjamin is on his fourth year of his rookie contract. Earlier this year, we opted into his fifth year option. This means the team would be able to keep his rights for an additional year, but it also means there would be a huge price hike, like $8.5 million huge. One million dollars. If you remember, it was Gettleman, not Herney, who opted into Benjamin's fifth year option, and drafted him for that matter. Sources from inside the Panthers organization say that it was likely Kelberger would have been released after this season in an effort to avoid that huge cap hit. Wrong cap. Come on. If this were the case, we would have let Benjamin walk for next to nothing. So Bean, knowing of our discontent with his speed and impending cap bomb, made like Dave Gettleman and capitalized on this opportunity. Except with Gettleman, it's usually the hottest of mollies. And to be honest, the Bills got better after this trade. They're five and two, and their biggest hole is at the receiver position, a hole that they filled. And then so, in another world, the blossoming Benjamin would be our big bodied starter for years to come. Dude has an insane video game like catch radius and the ability to outmuscle 99% of the corners in the league. He's going to be an asset for someone, especially if they play to his strengths. But alas, it's not going to be us. When it's all said and done, it's easy to feel like we were gypped on this trade. It's easy to feel like the Bills won and we, well, we lost. But when you take a look at the bigger picture, it at least starts to make some kind of sense. If our offense takes a step back and Benjamin goes on to have a Pro Bowl season, this trade will be ridiculed. Absolutely demolished. Townspeople, forks, torches, you know the drill. If our offense blossoms and we're finally able to run the ball and stretch the field, 
Hernia is heralded as a genius. Shocking, I know. Either way, no move itself is ever as good as it seems or as bad as it feels. It's almost always somewhere in between. As to where that is, only time will tell. Tis the nature of the game. Well, that is all we have for you today, Panther Nation. If you, yes you, liked this video and want to see more from the Brothers Blue, be sure to let us know by subscribing and sharing it with anyone else who'd like it. Also, be sure to let us know what kind of videos you enjoy, whether it be our game reviews, vlogs, highlights, or player spotlights. We really do love your feedback. Also, how about a thumbs up for that Panthers bingo? Hey, available at a 7-Eleven near you. Because reasons. <laughs> and as always, be sure to answer our question of the day in the comment section. What do you make of this trade? Are you excited to see what our offense can do without Benjamin? Or upset that we traded away such a big threat? Pun intended. That time it was me, not her. Let's get the discussion going. I will see your beautiful faces soon. Stay blue, my friends. Did it in a roll like Alja, that's nostalgia.